Well, hello there. I do hope you're all well. Now, on Saturday, as I said, Annick Abbott had the great Brexiteer on the show. Then he had a mad Brexiteer on the show. Now he had a mad as a balloon Brexiteer. Who's hard of hearing? Sort of like scrambled her brain to a point where she was hearing what she thought she was hearing and uh, got it completely wrong. Enjoy. Surbiton, hello Diana. Hi there. Hello there. I thought I'd upset you. You never liked that when I phoned about two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'll upset him. I say, hi there. <laughs> yeah. Hello there. Hello there. Now, there's one thing we've got with Brexit. Okay. Vaccinations. Nothing to do with Brexit. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because if we would have still been in the EU, we mm-hmm. would have to be uh, measured out with our uh, vaccinations, the same as any other EU country. Diana, you must know by now that that's not true. Please tell it me you're joking. True. But it, it is isn't. true. It is true. See, you're, you're not where, right this time. No, I'm right. You aren't right. Where did you learn that information? Where internet. did I learn it? Yes. Well, with my brain work. That's where I learned it. <laughs> well, I, th- I think we've located the problem. <laughs> yeah, well, well you, you don't take a genie. It's just a rocket science. We've, we've had a mass, a mass vaccination. Hmm. So where we got all our vaccinations from. And also, Australia ran out and we've loaned a load to them. Diana. So where, so where we got all our vaccinations from. Diana, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll try not to be very rude, but um, and that'd I, be a good old try. <laughs> I, I want you to know that I mean this with the greatest possible respect. But you're, <laughs> I can't. I, I can't wrong. say. You, you are wrong. I can't for a say it. I almost and said. And also, you're getting an idiot. back to the fuel. Listen yeah. to this. A chap with owns a garage up in Ber- Birmingham mm. said, I've just had a tanker load come in. Yeah. He said, it's run out in a few hours. He said, do you know how long it generally takes to get rid of that tanker load? He a said, week, a week. Five days. Like I said. He said, last five days. Yeah. It is all to do with panic bloody buying. It's all it's to do with. Diana, it's not panic buying when you are running out of fuel. Well, it is. No, people, it isn't. People, people, they all... To, they ought to ration it the same as what they did in the war nine years after if the war. If you really rationed. want to make people panic, then you'll talk about rationing. <laughs> yes, rationing, yes. But, uh, say no to them. They can only have £30 pounds worth at a time. And then they'll take £30 pounds and then they'll go to the back of, back of the queue and, um, and, and... Yeah, and queue up for another hour or so. Exactly. And run out of £15 pounds worth of it and, they, and they've got to make it up again. Yeah. So that's two things that's you've been... That's how loopy people are that's today. That's two things you've been wrong about on the one call. No, I have not. Completely you, you're incorrect never wrong. in every I'm respect. I'm right about the vaccine. You are I totally am. wrong about the vaccine, Diana. No, I'm not. Can I'm I... I'm right about the vaccine. It's you what's wrong. Make a change for you to own up that you are wrong. Diana, you're you've... never wrong. You've are already... You? You've, never. No, that's correct. You've already admitted that you have no knowledge of it, you just dreamt it up. I'm not telling you where I've got the knowledge from, no way, because I, because I should be giving away too many things. And as regards jobs, my, my daughter's been in HR for over 20 years and she works for a very, very reputable, reputable place. A what? And, and she said all the jobs they've got, from menial jobs, middle management... Top management, they cannot fill the posts. Right. So, so that's so, a load of so rubbish you're talking about. There's no jobs around. I, I never said, I've never said there's no jobs around. There's two million jobs waiting to be filled. Well, you just said that there's a lot, there's a lot, no, there's not a lot of jobs. No, I did not. Yes, you did earlier on about... Oh, my um, God, that's three things you got wrong in the one call, Diana. No, no. Do you want to go for a you, fistful? When you said about Johnson's speech, he's saying about more jobs, and you said, all oh, there's less jobs. No, no, I said that they're not the party of creating jobs, they're the party of disappearing jobs. Well, we all know that. All under Conservative government, all they do is cut, cut, cut. That's all oh, they well, know. Finally, you got something right. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> we, we should end on that. Po- we should, uh, Diana. No, now. please don't. But let's end on that positive note. You finally got something right. It's a little no. bit of positivity. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Diana.
please, just don't just think up the answer to questions. Look it up. Do you have the internet where you live? I believe that the internet has actually reached Surbiton. Is reputable actually a word? <laughs> oh, dear. Still punting out that line about the vaccine rollout. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, dear. <laughs> Where do they get their information from? It's just absolutely hilarious. And she just waffled on from one thing to the next. But I'll give her a due. At least, at least she's uh, not been fooled by this chaotic uh, government called the extreme Brexit Tory government. Anyway, eh? So, <laughs> absolutely mad as a balloon. But anyway, I shall leave the video here. Until the next time, I shall bid you farewell. Take care.